Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing to you the secondary parts of a triangle. This time we're going to focus on the definition of centroid and the centroid theorem. So first, what is a centroid? A centroid is the intersection point of the three median of a triangle. Let's say we have the vertex B going to the midpoint of AC. We have the triangle ABC here. So let us draw the median, our first median, BE. Second median, we're going to connect the midpoint E and the vertex A. The second median is AE. So first median is BF. Second, here is AE, and third, connect the vertex C going to the midpoint D, we have DC. Now, the intersection point of the three median is what we call the centroid, okay, that is the centroid. Now, we have the centroid theorem. The centroid of a triangle is located two-thirds of the distance from a vertex to the midpoint of the side opposite to the vertex on a median. So we have here, let's say, let us name the centroid as L. Okay, our centroid, the intersection point is L. So... Centroid theorem states that AL from the vertex to the centroid is two-thirds of the distance from a vertex to the midpoint of the vertex to the midpoint. Okay? Two-thirds of AE. AL is two-thirds of AE. We, call, we can also get BL is equal to two-thirds of vertex to midpoint BF. And lastly, we can get from the vertex to the centroid that is CL is equal to two-thirds of the vertex to the midpoint CD. Okay. Be careful on that. We must start from the vertex going to the centroid. Then get two-thirds of the distance. Now, this is the centroid theorem. To better understand the centroid and centroid theorem, let's have this problem. Point RST, RST are the midpoints of AB, BC, and AC respectively. Find X, Y, and Z. So we're going to apply our centroid theorem to find the X, Y, and Z. So let's find first X. So where is x? So x, uh, we have 6x here. Okay. So let us name the centroid as O. Okay, let's name the centroid as O. Okay. So we can get, using the centroid theorem from vertex, to the centroid O, so C O is equal to two thirds of C R. C R. Now we have the measurement for segment C O that is six x. So substitute six x. Two-third of C going to R is 6x plus 15. 
So 6x plus 15. Okay. Now we have 6x is equal to 2 thirds times 6x. Oh, that will become 2 times 6. That is 12 divided by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4x. Four Plus 2 times 15. That is 30 divided by 3. 10. We can now get the value for x. So combine like terms. 6x minus 4x is equal to 10. So 6x minus 4x, that is 2x, is equal to 10. So our x is equal to, divide by 2. So 10 divided by 2, that is 5. Okay. So the value of x is 5. Now let us find the value for y. y, study our given. So we have 3y minus 3, the measure of OT, then 24 is the measure of BO. Following the centroid theorem from the vertex to the centroid, so we have BO is equal to 2 thirds BO vertex to the centroid is 2 thirds of we have 24 plus, oh, BO is 24, so we need to, okay, let us write first our equation, so we have BO is equal to 2 thirds of BT, okay, BT, now substitute, BO is 24, is equal to two-thirds of BT. So we have 24 plus 3y minus 3. 3y minus 3. So 3y minus 3 is the OT. BT is BO plus OT. Now, combine like terms, 24 is equal to two-thirds times 24 minus 3, that is 21 plus 3y. Okay, so we have 24 is equal to, use cancellation method, 21 divided by 3, that is 7. So 2 times 7, we have 14 plus, in this case, cancel, cancel, 2y. Now, Solve for y. So we have 24 minus 14 is equal to 2y. 24 minus 14, that is 10, is equal to 2y. So divided by 2, y is equal to 5. Okay, y is equal to 5. And last, solve for z. So we can get z by AO is equal to two-thirds of AS, segment AS. Now, AO is 6x plus 4. So, six, uh, 6 j plus 4 is equal to two-thirds of AS. So, 6 j plus 4 plus 11. Now, combine like terms, we have 6z plus 4 is equal to 2 thirds of 6z. So, I will write R here. 6z plus 15. Now, 6z plus 4 is equal to cancellation method. So, 2, so 4z plus 10. <laughs> Now, combine like terms, 6z minus 4z is equal to 10 minus 4. Now we have 2z is equal to 6 divided by 2, z is equal to 3. Okay. 
So x is equal to 5, y is equal to 5, z is equal to 3. Just use the centroid theorem. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.